Today, let's talk about the innovative NEO. It is a Chinese startup in the electric vehicle industry, often compared to the Tesla of China. However, it goes beyond that comparison. NEO stands out for offering a unique feature not found in American manufacturers, fast battery replacement. This feature eliminates the need for long charging periods. The Chinese at NEO promised to change the paradigm and have recently reached 30 million battery swaps in their power swap station network, mostly located in China, with some in Europe. Let's delve deeper into NEO today. Rising Battery Swaps Currently, NEO stands out as the leading battery swap company globally. In October, a remarkable event was shared by NEO, 30 million battery swaps completed. NEO performs over 60,000 swaps daily. This process is not only faster than traditional electric vehicle charging but can even surpass the refueling time of gasoline vehicles. This milestone demonstrates the market viability for consumers interested in battery replacement. Battery replacement is practical, especially for long journeys. It is useful for shared cars and commercial vehicles like electric delivery trucks. There are economic benefits as this alternative can reduce costs for users from the outset. The process is simple, when your electric car needs energy, you take it to a swap station. There, the depleted battery is replaced with a charged one in just a few minutes. This trend started in Asia and is now expanding to Europe, notably in Norway. Norway has the highest proportion of electric cars per capita globally, with a 65% market share. Therefore, it is not surprising that Norway is a pioneer in adopting NEO's battery swap technology. The process is fully automated from the beginning. The driver parks in the charging station area and touches the auto parking option that appears on the car's touch screen. The vehicle then automatically parks at the station and stops on a set of rollers, allowing the machinery to position itself for the swap. Next, the mechanism loosens the 10 screws holding the battery in place. It then descends, moves to a storage area on the right, and installs a new one in its place. After the swap is complete, the car conducts an analysis of the component's condition, and if it passes, the driver can leave. Battery swaps do not aim to completely replace existing charging methods but complement them. Typically, recharging an electric car involves connecting it to a charging point, which can take 30 to 60 minutes, especially if there is a queue. With battery swaps, this time is reduced to about 3 to 5 minutes. This innovation makes it easier and more practical for drivers to quickly recharge their vehicles without any effort. To use NEO's swap stations, the electric car needs to have a special design known as Easy Swap. While it cannot be claimed that NEO invented the battery swap method, it is undoubtedly a leader in this sector currently. 30 million swaps represent a remarkable achievement, and even more impressive is the speed at which NEO reached this number. Battery Swap Revolution Going back to May 2018, NEO inaugurated its first battery swap station in Shenzhen, China. That was five years ago. At that time, swapping batteries in electric cars was a novelty. Many electric car owners were skeptical about it. However, perceptions changed rapidly. Fast forward to 2020, NEO celebrated its millionth battery swap. In 2022, this number reached a billion. Just a month later, 10 million swaps were completed. In April 2023, the milestone of 20 million swaps was achieved. Six months later, it reached 30 million. NEO's third-generation stations allow swaps in around three minutes. Until last October, the company had nearly 2,000 stations in China, with 574 on highways. NEO plans to add another 1,000 stations by the end of the year. Initially, battery swaps were free to encourage adoption. But, in June of this year, with a reduction of $4,100 in the price of models, free swaps became paid. NEO's stations are called power swap stations, scattered across China and equipped with advanced robotic technology. NEO also introduced Battery as a Service, or BAS program. In this model, customers buy an electric car without a battery, reducing the initial cost. They pay a monthly fee for the battery, swappable at any power swap station. NEO's business model is innovative and has attracted many customers. 
the company also focuses on sustainability and customer satisfaction. It uses renewable energy sources for its stations, reducing the carbon footprint. Additionally, it offers 24-7 customer support, ensuring the availability of the battery swap service. Challenges of Automotive Innovation Various initiatives have been crucial for the automaker NEO. However, this success comes with significant challenges. With approximately 11,000 employees in research and development, NEO faces a paradox. It sold only 8,000 cars monthly from April to June 2023, a figure that does not justify its high investments. The company heavily invested in automation, to the point where one of its factories, operated by only 30 technicians, produces 300,000 electric motors annually. Furthermore, NEO offers augmented reality glasses for $350 in each vehicle. It also introduced a phone compatible with its autonomous driving system, surpassing even Apple. Despite these technological advances, profitability remains a challenge. The company reported a loss of $835 million in the second quarter of 2023, with an average loss of $35,000 per car sold. A crucial factor for NEO's survival is strong government support. When it almost went bankrupt in 2020, a local government invested $1 billion for a 24% stake in the company. Additionally, a state-owned bank led an investment of another $1.6 billion. Three and a half years later, NEO is facing financial difficulties again. The company's future depends on its ability to balance research and development costs with vehicle sales. Other electric car manufacturers in China are following a similar path, despite significant losses. Spen, another startup, also benefits from government support. In contrast, BYD stands out for its profitability, with profits of 1,500,000,000 in the first half of the year. Neo, although leading the battery swapping market, faces competition from companies like Tesla, which approach this technology differently. Ten years ago, Tesla introduced battery swapping for the Model S, similar to the time of a conventional refueling. However, the idea lost momentum over time. Elon Musk of Tesla mentioned delays in implementing this technology. Later, the company emphasized that electric charging is preferable to battery swapping, given the complexities and limitations of the latter. Critics point out that battery swapping faces technical challenges because each manufacturer has unique battery designs, making it difficult to create a unified system. Additionally, the logistics of storing and managing thousands of batteries in swap stations are extremely complex. Another relevant concern for electric vehicle owners is the durability and cost of battery replacement, ranging between $5,000 and $20,000. Therefore, while promising, electric vehicle technology still faces significant barriers to mass adoption. Understanding Electric Car Batteries Many people wonder about the factors influencing the degradation of electric cars. These include the charging method and the environment in which they are used. Have you ever wondered about the durability of Tesla batteries? You're not alone. In 2021, Tesla's impact report indicated that its batteries last longer than the vehicles themselves. In the United States, it is estimated that a car is discarded after about 320,000 kilometers. In Europe, this number is approximately 240,000 kilometers. If you don't plan to drive a Tesla for more than 320,000 kilometers, theoretically, there are no concerns. Interestingly, Tesla batteries come with a warranty. This varies by model but generally covers 8 years or between 160,000 and 240,000 kilometers. The question remains, if Tesla claims that its batteries last longer than the vehicle, why doesn't the warranty cover 320,000 kilometers? All electric car manufacturers focus on improving batteries. 
these are the heaviest and most expensive components. In 2020, Tesla launched the 4680 battery pack. It stores up to five times more energy than previous models, thanks to its improved design and chemistry. Elon Musk claims that these batteries are cheaper to produce. Currently, they are being manufactured in Fremont, California, and used in some Model Y vehicles in Texas. What are your thoughts on battery swapping? Does it make you consider buying an electric car? Do you think other manufacturers should follow suit? Share your opinions in the comments.